Well, I got a couple more guitars in the mail this week. Uh, try to get one, at least one of them, on video to repair. Uh, but I got something else right now I want to show you first. Hold on. Java. Howdy, folks, and welcome back again. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different from uh, uh, the previous ones. Uh, it's not going to be a music video, an instruction video, or a repair video. I am going to review these little flashlights. But first, I got some mail here I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, and you're going to hear you people that's headphone lovers are going to hear all kinds of good stuff in the background. So, got a cold, still got a cold, got another cold been outside too much <laughs> anyways uh, this mail is from like I said it's from the UK uh, I figured maybe since it had to do with music I would share it with you I've got some uh, I got a an idea on a video to, if the next video actually is going to be an instruction video I think and that's, that was uh, <laughs> Pretty awesome right there. Caught it in midair. It's like the video that I caught my pick in midair. Dropped it and caught it in midair in a song. It's on my channel here if you want to look it up. Anyways, let me adjust the camera down here where you guys can see what's going on. Hold on. So yeah, I got this from, uh, came in from the UK. Uh, figured maybe you'd want to check it out with me. From CrimsonGuitars.com CrimsonGuitars.com. They also have a YouTube uh, channel here. I think that's what it's called. Crimson Guitars is their username, I believe. If you want to look them up, there's some interesting stuff on there. But check this out, man. Guitar plectrums made out of wood. Uh, ben Crow sent me these. And really been anxious to try these out man this is so cool check that out guitar picks this is really cool he's even got like a little place in there for your thumb and finger to rest and different uh, they look like they're different thicknesses too yeah they are that is so cool man Let's see what we have here. Redefining Custom, CrimsonGuitars.com. Look those guys up because they are uh, definitely worth the watch. Ben, thank you, man. Thanks. I appreciate the plectrums, buddy. And everyone in Crimson Guitars, big thanks to you. Okay, flashlights. These are called a J5 Tactical Flashlight. Uh, oh, I can't say enough about them. They have uh, unbelievable, unbelievable power. Now, I have several of them, as if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Actually, I went and bought like 10 of them after I... This, let's see, this, this was the... No. This was the first one I purchased, and I liked it so well, I went and bought 10 more. Now, this one's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit different. You can see that. Get it the camera. This one's a little bit brighter, it seems to be, too. They operate off of one AA battery, 1.5 volts. Uh, you can actually order a battery from China. I think it's like 3.2 volts, something like that, and I believe the number is 14,500, and it will work in these lights. It's for these lights, in fact, but they're waterproof, uh, they're adjustable, you can adjust the, the beam, I don't know how well you, uh, I'll have to show it to you after it gets dark, but you can, uh, you know, from a spot to a, a wide light, 
it has a dim mode and a bright mode. Let me show you this one. Uh, it, it's got that. If you press the button in, just like touch it halfway, you can go between bright and dim and that flashing mode. Now, from what I understand, the flashing mode is to blind someone or, you know, at least disable them momentarily in a fight. Uh, thus, tactical. <laughs> uh, it also has this large rim around the ball, the front. It's got a heavy, really heavy uh, lens in it. So, you know, if you held it like this and into somebody's forehead or face, it's going to do a lot of damage. This is kind of sharp right here. So, yeah, man, uh, tonight when it gets dark, I'll we'll go outside and I'll show you how they work. I have to find some better batteries than this. Obviously, that battery is sharp. That one's not very good either. But uh, these lights, like I say, they're waterproof. They're just amazing, man. Anything I find that I think is really amazing, I like to pass on to you guys. And these definitely are amazing flashlights. Uh, you should pick one of these up. You can get them off of eBay. They take a AA battery, or you can get that uh, non-standard battery. Uh, you can, I think you can get those on eBay from China. Uh, anyways, they have a, uh, a Cree... Uh, LED in them, C-R-E-E, -E. I think it is uh, 300 lumens, I believe, which is extremely, awesomely bright, unbelievably bright. Uh, they have three modes, they have uh, dim and bright and like a pulsating flicker, they're waterproof, they're drop, they're drop proof, they're very heavy, they have a, a little clip here, let me get up one up here closer that you can see. Maybe if you can see this. There. It's got a clip here for your belt or your pants pocket or whatever. You just adjust the spot by pulling the head in and out. There's the button and the lens. The lens is it's a hef hefty, heavy lens. But yeah, man, when it gets dark, take you outside. I'll show you... Uh, just what I'm talking about. Unbelievably bright. Hold on. You gotta love YouTube and Google Plus. I just finished uploading the final video of the series on the Johnson guitar. Uh, got a few comments here on it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I can't always reply to everyone. Uh, this guy, Bobby Landis. There's no reply button. Well, I got cars all over the place and traffic. I want to show you, we are actually lower than the top of the river. And we can see over the top of those railroad tracks. And barely, maybe barely see the river. And you can see that we are lower than the top of the river. You can see that. Well, check it out, man. It's either nine feet of snow or major flooding. This is two rivers that come together right here. Uh, you can see that old bridge down there. The new bridge, there's the new bridge. Let me zoom in on that a little bit for you. I don't think it's here on the old bridge, but it's high, baby. Anyways, there you have it. Hold on. Don't know if I can get this or not. YouTube queen. She's not feeling too good today. I don't know. I just got back. Had to go out all day today. And I just got back and she's been acting kind of funky since I got back. She's moving more better now than she has been 
since I got here. Cue ball head. Where you going, girl? And I lost her. She's hard to see in that snow. Where are you going, cue ball? Where are you going? This doesn't seem like she feels very good. That's very unusual for her. Normally she would have hopped right over that snow bank, but I don't know. All right. Piss break. <laughs> She's coming around now, I think. Now maybe you can see why I call her hopscotch. No, she ain't gonna do it. There she is. The YouTube star. Hot on the trail of <laughs> something. Lily, let's go. Come on. Well, folks, as promised, here we are with the J5 Tactical Light Review. Real quick, I want to show these to you because it is cold out here. Um, the tree you see there is, I didn't measure it, but I'm, I used to deer hunt, bow hunt a lot, and I can tell you it's really close to 10 yards away from me. And I have this little, uh, uh, if you can see it, J5 Tactical Light, it takes one AA battery, look there's trouble, trouble, trouble. It has one uh, AA battery in it, and you can see how, this battery is uh, not good, I mean it's an old battery. Uh, but you can see how I can zoom this spot in on that tree, check that out. Man, that is unbelievable power for a AA battery. Uh, if you can see that phone pole over there, that's on the other side of the street. That's a good 30 yards away. And this light shines on it. Uh, you know, it's you can open it up to a spot like that or bring it in on a crisp, tight spot. Uh, <laughs> there's trouble. So uh, let me get another one here. I've got three of them out here with me, the ones I showed you earlier today. This is another one. There's the uh, blinking mode. There's high. Uh, it's got three modes on it. Anyways, let me show you the spot on this one. Okay, we're about 10 yards from that tree. This one isn't as bright as the other one, so uh, the battery I know and this one's been used more. I use it to work on guitars. It hits the street light, but not like the other one did. Okay, so hold on. Let me get the best one of the bunch. This one, as I showed you before, is a little bit bigger than the other two. It's the same kind of bulb. It's uh, 300 lumens, and it's uh, you can see it's a whole lot brighter. It's got the Cree LED in it. Uh, it's just an um, incredibly powerful light. It's just unbelievable, man. Okay, let me get in on that tree with this one. Check this out. Look what a spot, man. Look how bright that is. I guarantee you it will shine on the pole with ease. 30 yards away, that, that uh, light pole is. Just incredible. Incredible, man. Unbelievable. Like I say, you can open it up into the large spot or bring it in, you know, to a tight uh, spot. Anyways, I wanted to show you that. These are uh, J5 Tactical Flashlights. you got to get one. I'll leave some links in below. 
uh, to Amazon and eBay. You can check them out. Uh, there is some uh, replica cheaper models. I don't know. Uh, you know, if you find them for like two bucks a piece, you're probably getting the cheap ones. Uh, I think I paid like uh, uh, twelve dollars, maybe. I can't remember what I paid for it exactly, but it was uh, something along those lines. Come here, kid. Come here, baby. You called. <laughs> Come on. You want to? I'm going to take her for a walk and let her do her night thing. So, uh, it's cold. I'm going to get out of here. I just wanted to show you guys the lights. And I promise you a better video the next time. I'll explain what's been going on. A lot of changes on the channel uh, coming up. More well, happening right now. Anyways, cheers. See you on the next video. Peace out. So, there you have it, folks. Uh, flashlights galore. The best lights I think money can buy, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> Princess has showed up so you got to be careful now uh, like I say I apologize for not getting a video up sooner this week and then uh, we'll get back on the guitar lessons I've had some uh, several requests on Facebook from you guys through Facebook uh, about finger picking so the next lesson may be a finger picking uh, guitar lesson I don't know probably that's what it'll be um, more repair work to come. I have uh, a lot of that. I've just been so busy pushing and pulling snow and plowing and this. Oh, it's been god awful. And then we, the floods we had. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Anyways, uh, we're going to get some uh, guitar lessons going on the very next video. I promise it'll be soon, too. So stay tuned. And thanks to the subscribers, man. You guys are rocking. Every one of you. They're old and new alike. I appreciate it. So I'll uh, see you on the next video with the guitar uh, lesson. Finger picking probably. Don't know for sure, but cheers to see you then. Get up here and tell them bye-bye. <laughs>